And here we are back in Citadel Forged with Fire. Now I am level 30. I had recorded a fantastic episode. Honestly, it was the best thing since sliced bread. Um, it had combat, crafting, leveling up, using the knowledge tree. It was marvellous. Uh, and Bandicam, the software I used to record, didn't record any of it. It just recorded the setup screen and me talking. So hopefully now um, we're actually recording. I'll just quickly have a check. That looks plausible. Um, so we'll see how we get on this time. Now what I'm going to do is pop back inside and show you our new our new staff. So this is our level 30 staff. This is the Valance. It's got better critical chance and mana than my current staff. Uh, it doesn't do any additional damage. And uh, doesn't have the cooldown reduction. That's quite important. Uh, so not sure we'll be using it on a regular basis. But I think we will use it for a utility spell and blink. So we'll come back in a moment and show you how we do that. Because I'm just going to double check that Bandicam is actually recording something. <laughs> back soon. And all right, everything looks okay with the recording. So we'll carry on. Now, what we're going to do is equip our shiny new stuff. So we've got the Valance equipped. And we're going to assign some spells to it. So first off, I'm going to pick up some uh, bits and bobs. So we'll have some precious stone. Some fairy dust. And some feathers. Why not? And we're going to need a storm essence. There we go. So, spells, spells, spells. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick with... Um, with the utility spell on the right toolbar and I want precious stone, precious stone, feather, feather and a spot of fairy dust and craft spell and that should give us the utility spell extract, yeah, cool. So now we'll choose this one. We will choose Storm. And... Uh, now then I will just quickly check. That's going to be Utility again. Oh, that's what we get it right. And... We'll put precious stone, precious stone. Not sure we need the feathers for this one, but you know, it's just force of habit these days. Bit of fairy dust. What have we got? We've got blink! Yay! <laughs> okay, it's got a 10 second cooldown. Right. So, let's close that. And let's try out Blink. So, I've been wondering, what, what's the range on this? I've been wondering what's that it's like over there. So let's have a look. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, that was interesting. Uh, 
Whilst we're down here, let's try this out. Doesn't appear to be that much faster than the other one, to be honest. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Blink's cooled down. Let's see if I can blink myself across here to there. Nope, that's too far. Okay. So it's quite limited range, but it's... Yeah, I can see how it'll be useful. Uh, but you definitely need to stick within the range that it's got. Otherwise you're not going anywhere. Fast. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. So I thought it might teleport you any distance. Maybe it does with higher level spells, but um Okay. So there you go, we've got our we've got our new staff. Um I'm going back to the house to craft rowan wood, hopefully. Apparently you just plant rowan seeds and let them decay. So you don't put any water or fertilizer in the farm plots and plants die and then you've got rowan wood. That's the plan. So we'll do that. And we'll see how it goes. Catch you soon. I thought I'd show you the process of putting grow plots together. So my understanding is anyone can pick plants. So I've got some rowan berries planted over here. Hopefully they'll die and then I can get rowan wood. However, anyone could fly up here and pick that. So what I'm going to do is put grow plots in here. Now the instructions on the wiki are for rowan wood that you don't want to put any hydration or fertilizer in the grow plots that you're making rowan wood in. But you still need mulch to make the grow plots in the first place. And mulch takes yellow pine bones and mushrooms. So I am going to craft all of those. There we go. And I'm guessing it's the mushrooms we were short of. Where was I keeping bones? It might have been in here. Yeah, it was the mushrooms we were short of. So I shall continue to collect mushrooms in my travels. So when we've got the mulch, then we can make the grow plots. And with the grow plots, we can plant the rowan berry seeds, that's the rowan bush seeds. And then we can leave them until they die, and then we can harvest rowan wood. And hopefully we get a reasonable amount of rowan wood as well, because otherwise that's just painful. Well, it's painful as it is. Um, but hopefully we'll get on with that. So that's going to take a while to craft, so I'll bring you back, I'll go out and collect some more stone probably, and I'll bring you back once it's done, and then we'll make some farm plots and put them down. See you then. And our mulch is ready. Here we go, we've got 73 of them. Now, what do we need to craft the, uh, the farm plots? Oh. We need enchanted stone and flawless rune gem. Okay. We'll be back to do that uh, shortly because that takes some time. And I may need to go out and collect some more um, rune stones as well. Uh, and unfortunately, that's going to use up quite a bit of our quite a bit of our stone too. <laughs> oh dear. 12,000 to go, eh? Catch you soon. Actually, I might just show you this bit. So I've picked up my uh, my stone and my rune crystal and come over to the forge. Now the, the farm plots use 20 each of flawless rune gem and enchanted stone. And I think I probably want to make about 8. So I need 160 of each. So let's go with 160 of these to start with. Uh, 
go. Obviously that will take some time. And once I've crafted those and I've crafted the others uh, and we've got all the ingredients, then I'll bring you back when we're going to make the uh, farm plots. So we'll take that from there. See you again soon. Okay, so we're back in Citadel Forge with Fire. Uh, my housemate Stridox is uh, doing his own thing. And I'm going to try and make some mulch, not mulch, some farm plots. Here we go. Uh, B. Magic, medium, farm plots. I'm going to be able to make six, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then I'm going to plant rowan berries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each farm plot can take up to six seeds. And then we leave those until they decay and die. Remove plant. Now what does that say for those? Remove plant. Mm. Let's go into first person and see what we've got here. Aha. Uh -huh. So it looks like a slightly spoiled seed. Okay. Now I'm getting exactly the same message inside. Does it look the same? It does. Oh right, so wow. Okay. So you literally plant them and you can almost immediately remove them and get rowan wood. Well there you go. The rowan wood shortages are over. Probably keep playing until the patch is installed. Well, that is dead easy, isn't it? You plant the seeds, you pick the seeds up. Instant rowan wood. So I haven't got a lot more berries, um, but let's plant the ones we've got. And again. And... Yep, it's instant. Well, there you go. So my concern that getting rowan wood was tricky uh, has been disproved. It's actually unbelievably quick and easy. Well, that's a bit of a carry on, isn't it? But um, it's certainly doable. 
Now I need to make more rowing berries. Now how much did we get out of that? We've got 72 rowing wood. Okay. Well, that's excellent. We'll definitely be doing some more of that. I make a strange noise when I run. Let's put those back in there. And that might as well go in there. Have I got any more seeds for up here? That can go in there. I think that might be it. Yep. Uh, let's put that leather away. And some of these um, stones there. Got some precious stone in there. Not feathers there. Which one did I put the feathers in? That one, obviously. And we'll put that away and that away. Did I put the eagle heads in here? I did. For now, we'll put the milk back. Where's the milk? Along with all the raw food. And we'll put those in there. And the rune crystals in there. Uh, along with that. How are we doing for weight? We're down a bit. Hmm. Oh, mulch is quite heavy. Oh wow, I can't fit it all in there. Mulch is very heavy. Um. <laughs> Put the mulch in with the food. Not sure how hygienic that is, but there you go. So, we've got our crop plots, we know how to make rowan wood. Uh, I'll get on and do that. And um, we'll start crafting stuff galore once we've got enough rowan wood to do it. So that will be in the next episode. So we shall see you then. Bye for now.